Hello my dear children welcome to my geography class i hope you all are doing well and safe today we are going to start a very interesting chapter or you can say the toughest one in geography book that is climate in this video we shall discuss about the definition of climate and weather differences between climate and weather regional climatic variation in india climatic controls so let's start with the first topic weather the basic elements of natural environment of any area are landforms drainage and the atmospheric condition or we can say climatic condition that prevail over that area means koi area ke bare mein aapko agar acche se janna hai to so, take example just like renukut ke bare mein agar janna hai to humko teen aspect aur element ke bare mein janna zaruri hai first of all landforms topography kaisa hai plain hai plateau hai ya माउंटेन है ड्रेनेज मीन्स द वाटर बॉडीज और वी कैन से द रिवर सिस्टम एंड द एटमोस्फेरिक कंडीशन और द क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन मीन वेदर कैसा है या क्लाइमेट कैसा है सो द टर्म वेदर रेफर्स टू एटमोस्फेरिक कंडीशन प्रिविलिंग ओवर ए शॉर्टर टाइम एंड ओवर ए स्मॉलर एरिया आई एम गोइंग टू रिपीट द टर्म वेदर रेफर्स टू एटमोस्फेरिक कंडीशन प्रिविलिंग ओवर ए शॉर्टर टाइम एंड ओवर ए स्मॉलर एरिया so the question is what is the meaning of atmospheric conditions atmospheric condition comprise the state of atmosphere in terms of temperature uh, atmospheric pressure wind cloud and precipitation i think you have heard lots about the weather forecast in newspaper ya news channel aap sunne hi honge so for example today's weather temperature maximum 31 degree centigrade minimum 24 degree centigrade atmospheric pressure 74% wind speed 15 km per hour to 35 km per hour humidity 75% precipitation low chances means 10% only move to the next topic and that is climate the term climate is the sum total of weather conditions and variation over a large area for a long period of time more than 30 years i am going to repeat The term climate is the sum total of weather condition and variation over a large area for a long period of time more than 30 years so the average weather condition of a sizable area of the earth's surface for a long period of time usually uh, spread over a span of at least 30 years is known as climate there are different types of climate just like monsoon type desert type tundra type of climate the elements of weather and climate are the same such as temperature humidity air pressure cloudiness or sunshine precipitation means rainfall or snowfall and wind then your question is ma'am then what is the difference between weather and climate although the basic elements of both weather and climate are the same but still there are some differences among them just like while weather deals with the atmospheric conditions extending over a shorter period of time climate gives intricate pictures of weather condition extending over a longer period of time such as a season or a year to koi small period pe agar baat kare to wo hoga weather और लॉन्गर स्पेल ऑफ टाइम मीन्स अगर होल ईयर और फ्यू सीजन जस्ट लाइक टू और थ्री मंथ्स के बारे में अगर बोल रहे हैं तब होगा क्लाइमेट वेदर इज ऑलवेज चेंजिंग इट मे बी ड्राई और हॉट एट वन टाइम बट वेट एंड कोल्ड एट अनदर टाइम मीन्स वेदर कैन बी चेंज फ्रिक्वेंटली आज सुबह अगर रेनकुट का वेदर रेनी है तो आफ्टरनून तक हो सके सनसाइ निकल आए ओके बट क्लाइमेट चेंज एट स्लो पेज मीन्स अगर रेनकुट का क्लाइमेट मॉनसून टाइप है तो कल रेणुकूट का क्लाइमेट डेजर्ट क्लाइमेट या तुंदा क्लाइमेट या सब ट्रॉपिकल क्लाइमेट पे कन्वर्ट नहीं हो जाएगा इट टेक्स ए लॉन्ग पीरियड टू चेंज सो वेदर डेटा बेस्ड ऑन एक्चुअल ऑब्जर्वेशन ओके बट द क्लाइमेट डेटा गिवन एन एवरेज ऑफ द वेदर कंडीशन कलेक्टेड ड्यूरिंग ए मंथ सीजन और ए ईयर सो द वेदर कंडीशन फ्लक्चुएट वेरी ऑफन विद इन अ डे based on generalized monthly atmospheric conditions the year is divided into seasons such as winter 
summer and rainy seasons. The world is divided into a number of climatic regions. In Asia, India and other south and southeastern countries have monsoon type of climate. The word monsoon is derived from the Arabic word mosim which literally means season. Monsoon refers to the seasonal reversal in the wind direction during a year. We will read about it by going forward. Now my dear children, we are going to discuss about regional climatic variation in India. Although there is an overall unity in the general climatic pattern in India, there are some perceptible uh, regional variation based on temperature and precipitation. Just like the temperature in winter in northwestern mountains, uh, a region can go down minus 45 degrees centigrade just like at Dras in Jambu and Kashmir. While it is 22 degree centigrade in Tiruvanthapuram in Kerala. Similarly, it can go up to 50 degree centigrade in summer in some parts of western Rajasthan and 20 degree centigrade in Salong. There is a wide variation observed in precipitation, its amount and seasonal distribution. Precipitation in form of snowfall occurs only in upper parts of Himalayas. The rest of the country receive rainfall. A typical example, the annual precipitation varies from over 400 cm in Meghalaya to less than 10 cm only in Ladakh and western Rajasthan. Coastal regions also experience different weather conditions from the interior region. For example, temperature and seasonal contrast are relatively mild in coastal area. The rainfall also decreases from east to west in the northern plains. Such differences help to create a variety in lives of people. The food they eat, the clothes they wear, the kind of houses they used for living and so on. Let's move to the most interesting topic for today's class and that is climatic controls. The permanent factors which govern the general nature of the climate of any location on the earth are called factors of climatic controls. So first one latitude the angular distance of a location from the equator in north south direction is called latitude already we discussed in first chapter due to the curvature of the earth latitude changes the amount of solar energy received as a result air temperature decreases from equator towards pole the second one altitude it refers to the height above mean sea level. Instead uh, of altitude, we can say the elevation or height. With increase of height from the earth's surface, the temperature decreases and air becomes less dense. Therefore, hilly regions are cooler in summer. The normal lapse rate theory is applicable for this. So, what is lapse rate? The lapse rate is the rate at which temperature changes with the height. Air commonly referred to as normal or environmental lapse rate is highly variable and being affected by radiation, convection and condensation. It average about 6.5 degree centigrade per kilometer. I am going to repeat it average about 6.5 degree centigrade per kilometer or we can say 18.8 degree Fahrenheit per mile in the lower atmosphere or troposphere. So, the normal lapse rate theory is very very common one, is it na? Koi higher elevation pe jab jau to temperature obviously drop down hota hai, it is very very common one. But on some occasion, the situation get reversed and temperature starts increasing with height rather than decreasing. And this is called temperature inversion. It occurs due to horizontal or vertical movement of air. Remember children, all these things are not there in your book. Okay, it is just be the, all these terms are related to the meteorology or climatology subject. Just for your reference, we are discussing all these things. Next one, pressure and wind system. It depends on latitude and altitude of a place and it influences the temperature and rainfall pattern of the area. So my dear children, you know that uh, what is the relation between pressure and temperature? When temperature high, the pressure should be low air pressure should be low and when the temperature low the pressure should be high okay next uh, controls uh, obviously it is continentality or distance from the sea the sea exert a moderating influence on the climate 
as the distance from the sea increases the weather condition become more extreme extreme means high temperature and rainfall variation between seasons maybe in the morning it is very very hot in the night it is very very cold okay uh, so in that case remember the land bridge and sea bridge this theory just be applicable for the continentality next factor is ocean currents so the term currents describe the motion of the ocean ocean currents are driven by winds and coriolis effect don't worry in next video we'll discuss coriolis effect okay so the ocean currents are driven by winds and coriolis effects water density differences temperature salinity differences and tide so along the onshore winds the ocean currents warm or cold affect the climate of coastal areas for example cold onshore currents bring coolness in coastal areas next one the relief features high mountains stop cold or hot winds from reaching a location just like a barrier it can also cause rain or snow if the place is on the windward side of the mountains and the opposite side or we can say the leeward side of the mountains are dry so my dear children that's enough for today's class we'll meet in our next class with new topics Till now, bye. Happy learning and take care.